So these are the instructions I have promised yesterday, yesterday in class to prepare you new assignment on stock truck stocks where you're going to define the stop loss price in all of your stocks, right? So we're going to use the principles of technical analysis you have learned in class and the principles of risk and return concerning the uh, stop loss orders. Okay, so let's take an example. Uh, so this is how you should be preparing your, present your assignment, right? You're going to do this for any one of the stocks. You're going to copy and paste the fin in Finvis, your stock chart, and <clears throat> you are going to indicate what is the current stop loss you have in your stock, if you, if you have uh, defined a stop loss and the new stock, we are going to define the new stop loss and justify our choice, correct? So let's go start by Apple. So let's imagine that you bought Apple. Okay. You bought Apple at one, but here at one forty-five dollars, right? You bought Apple and. 18 of October here you bought Apple and <clears throat> when you bought Apple you could be using the information concerning technical analysis to define your level of uh, stop loss huh? so we can you can use the any stop loss the level of support so which were the level of price the Apple was testing and <clears throat> this level was not broken we can use as well what you have learned in the Dow theory the trend lines the bullish you have the here a bullish trend channel so we say that the stock every time the price comes to this to this uh, trend line the stock price bounced back up, right? So this is a typical bullish behavior on the stocks. We can use as well technical analysis. Huh? Technical analysis using moving average. So we have three moving averages, the three principal one. <clears throat> so we can use the 200 moving average, for example, right? So you bought your stock here. So let's imagine that you have used this level of price. Okay, let me just to remove the others. And you define your stop loss at this level. Huh? Stop loss is going to be this level. I say one thirty-eight dollars, right? When you bought your stock, so you bought your stock at one forty-five, and you define your stop loss at one thirty-eight. So you bought at this price here. So since then, Apple has been bullish, so the stock price increased until 151 so you start asking yourself right, how to protect my profits so i have here the equivalent of four percent of profits so i i am not sure that the market is going to correct it's going to have a correction or a market crash <clears throat> so i don't want to sell my stock why because there is still a potential no? A position because by the way the target price of this the apple is 165 so if you believe the price the trend uh, you see here the trend is bullish no the trend of stock is bullish so i have so far i have no reason to sell my stock is making a profit price continues uh, going up increasing and i'm seeing the shots a possibility to another increase to come back to the <coughs> to the channel up huh? the trend the trend line on this bullish channel so what i can do to protect this this profit so what i can do is let me just to remove this okay is i want now i can move my stop loss to a different level so we have to, we have here two uh two good opportunities or two good indications 
to define my new stop loss. The, the first one is the trend. Trend continue going up. We saw that the trend, every time the stock touch the trend line, he wants up, okay? Wants up, went up. So I can define a stop loss at this level. Huh? There should be something around $143, $144. So what I'm doing is moving up my stop loss to 145, 143, okay? <clears throat> like this, I can preserve a good part of my profits. I bought at 145, so now my risk is only $2 if things go wrong, right? $2 over 145, that's the price I have paid at the beginning, okay? This is less than 1%. Of risk and so this is what I can do so my previous stop loss was 138 the new one now will be 143 okay in my justification is I'm going to use support support on the bullish bullish okay bullish trend line so this trend line now will be my level of support so <clears throat> as you can see you can you can keep moving your you can keep moving your support your stop loss up if the stock continue going up right the other level can do if it goes even more, even higher, I can use the 15 day moving average and this level of support. I have the price, you see. This level of price <clears throat> has been working recently and some in some moments in the past, but most recently, recently as a support level, right? Okay, let's see another example. A stock that had, has, has uh, resulted in a very nice profit. If you bought more or less by the same time, right? about by um, 20, 18 or 20 of October, which means one month ago. So NVIDIA went up by 35%, okay, by 35%. I still believe the stock price can keep it going, moving up. I have no reason to sell unless I have defined a certain target profit. Huh? If you have decide, defined my target profit around $300, I could be selling my stock. But if I want to uh, hold my stock at this price level, uh, remember, I bought here around 220, uh, for example. <clears throat> my previous stop loss was about below this level of support, okay, which is around $205. $205.05. Uh, was my current, uh, this is my current stop loss. But I don't want to keep the stop loss because something wrong happens to NVIDIA. NVIDIA goes down, okay? I'm going to erase the, this profit and I'm going to make a loss, no? Because I bought, remember, the current cost of the stock is $220. So I'll be losing $15 in the stock, which is around, 7% of loss. So I don't want to make this mistake. So what I'm going to do is to move, okay, I'm going to move this stop loss to a level. So what I'm seeing here recently, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost in, in the past, almost two weeks, the stock has been around $200. Nine dollars right? $295. So this will be my new stop loss, okay? If something wrong happened to the stock, this stock is going down to 295, I will still make a nice profit. My cost basis on purchasing this stock is 220. So I can still keep 28% of return well, it's a very nice return on my, on my stock if the price goes below the new stop loss, huh? 295. So 
previous stop loss 205 new stop loss 295 okay justification okay protect protect my profits okay protect my profits <coughs> using using the most recent support level most recent support level which is this level here so you need to draw in your chart okay you draw in your chart <coughs> all information huh? for both stocks what is the current stop loss which price when i bought my stock and the new okay what's the new <coughs> so what's the new support level for my stock correct so that's all so you need to replicate this in your five stocks you're going to see some stocks you don't need to change your stop loss stop loss is still good because why because maybe stock is making plus one or plus two percent of profit or is close to the break even or is slightly negative okay you need don't need to change your stop loss but you need to do what you need to show your chart okay show at which price you have bought your stock yeah? the price you have bought your stock <coughs> the current price and the stop loss huh? show the stop loss in the chart what's the stop loss so using these trend lines use these levels of support and resistance uh, like here okay support and resistance use the moving average uh, the two usually the 50 day, look 50 day moving average can be a good level for some stocks for the others 200 moving average can work as a stop loss okay so that's it for uh for assignment <clears throat> so prepare this in a word in a word document show all information in your charts it brings you to the next class thank you